Not, it's nothing pleasant, nothing I want to be around too often. I mean, it's just nasty. Austin Dunn has worked at Bayshore Gardens for more than six years, and he's never seen this. So you're going to show me where the algae's been collecting. Right, right. I'll show you if we right. walk over there. Yeah, let's do that. And so have you seen this type of algae in this area before? I haven't seen this, what they call them, blue algae. I haven't seen it. But people here are seeing a lot of it. You can see that it gets matted. The beaches have been caked up for a couple weeks. The Florida Department of Environmental Protection says blue-green algae is a natural part of the freshwater, brackish, and marine environments here in Florida. But it's new to this beach. Nothing like last year's fish kill with the red tide. But this is something that we haven't seen um, in the time that I've been down here. The Florida Department of Health says you shouldn't swim in the blue-green algae, eat fish that has been living in it, or really spend too much time around it, keeping regulars away. A family who came to fish thought they were in for a gorgeous afternoon on the water. Kids will come down here and fish, but they haven't been coming down recently because they have to deal with this. But after about 10 minutes of investigating. You go somewhere else. Pretty bad here. Stinks. Not at all. It's getting worse. I don't know what the hell's going on. The Florida Department of Environmental Protection says persistent blooms like this are routinely monitored and retested, and you can track the blue-green algae blooms on their website to see if your neighborhood has been affected. We have that link for you on WTSP.com.